The Tale of Benjamin Bunny by Beatrix Potter. One morning, a little rabbit sat on the back. He pricked his ears and listened to the trick trot, trick trot. A gig was coming along the road. It was driven by Mr. McGregor. And beside him sat Mrs. McGregor in the bestest, bestest bonnet. As soon as they had passed, little Benjamin Bunny slid down into the road and set off with a hop, 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 skip, and a jump to call upon his relations who lived in the woods at the back of Mr. McGregor's garden. That wood was full of rabbit holes, and in the neatest, sandiest hole of all lived Benjamin's aunt and his cousins, Flopsy, Bobsy, Cottontail, and Peter. Oh, Mrs. Rabbit was a widow. She earned her living by eating rabbit wool mittens. And Muffet Tees! I want to put a penny for the sun. She also sold her and raspberry tea and rabbit tobacco. Little Benjamin did not very much want to see his arms. He came round the back of the fir tree and nearly tumbled upon the top. Peter was sitting by himself. He looked tall and was dressed in a red button pocket of the kitchen. Peter is a big bedroom. Who has your clothes? Peter replied, A scarecrow in Mr. McGregor's garden. He described. How he had been chased about the garden and had dropped his coat. Little Benjamin sat beside his cousin and assured him that Mr. McGregor had gone into the field and Mrs. McGregor also had sat on the because she was wearing her best, best bonnet. He just said he hoped it would rain. At this point, old Mrs. Rabbit's voice was heard inside the rabbit ball, calling, Cotton Tail! Cotton Tail! Fetch some more camomile! Peter said he thought he might feel better if he went for a walk. They went away and they had and got a boat of rats off the wall at the bottom of the wood. From here, they looked down into Mr. McGregor's yard. Peter's coat and shoes were plainly to be seen upon the scarecrow. Off with an old hammer canter of Mr. McGregor. The little Benjamin said, Inspire. Peter fell down head first, but it was of no consequence as the bed below was newly raked and quite soft. It had been served with lettuces. They left a great many odd little footmarks all over the bed. Especially little Benjamin, who was wearing clogs. Little Benjamin said that the first thing to be done was to get back Peter's clothes in order that they might be able to use the potted package. They took them off the scarecrow. There had been rain during the night. There was water in the shoes 
and the coat is so much stronger. The devotion. It is taking the hill.